You can build all sorts of internal tools with Livebook. You can build scripts that migrate data from one database to another. You can build interactive apps. You can build dashboards. You can build tools that hook into your Phoenix application and coordinate something. So anything that you can build with Livebook, you can imagine and build with Livebook, you can deploy to production. And what I prepared today is that I got one of the Learn apps. So if you go to Learn here to get started, we have a bunch of guides and one of those guides build a chat app. So what I did, I'm going to do is that I'm going to get one of those chat apps and we are going to deploy to production. So let's get started. So let's open the notebook so we can see this is a regular notebook. And uh, in order to deploy it, we are going to click here on the rocket icon. And usually before we run in production, we want to take a look at the app and how it looks like, okay? So I'm going to click launch preview and it's going to say, well, before you preview it, you have to configure it. So let's give it a slug. We don't want password protection. There are other things you can configure, but I'm going to say, I only want to render the rich output. So only the rich widgets that we interact with. So I'm going to click launch. That's going to launch a preview here. I'm going to click to look at this preview and we can see that this is a chat app. I can type hello road. If I open this up on another tab, I can hugo and I can say hello there. And you can see it all works as a chat app, right? So that's our notebook. And we are now running a preview on our machine but now we want to deploy it for our team to use this, okay? How are we going to do that? We have two options. The first one is manual Docker deployment, the first one we're going to talk about. And what this is going to do is that it's going to get the notebook. If you have any secrets and other information, it's going to package everything into a Docker file that you can go and manually deploy to production. And it's a good way to get started, but the issue with this approach is that it's manual. Every time you change a secret, Every time you change the notebook, you have to update the Docker file, you have to generate it again and push the image to production. So there is a lot of work involved in there. So what we can do with Livebook Teams is that we can automate this whole process. So let's do that. So I'm going to click deploy with Livebook Teams. And what this is going to say is that, well, in order to deploy with Livebook Teams, you need to use a Teams workspace, you need to use an organization. So we are going to change the workspace here to Acme, which we have previously defined. And now we can deploy. And the first thing that we need to do is that we need to run machines inside our infrastructure to deploy the notebooks too. So first we need to create a deployment group. We want an online deployment group because we want to push updates to it with the click of a button. So let's call this production. You can also specify a URL. So if you're running inside your infrastructure, you're going to have something like my uh, internal tools dot my company. You usually have an internal URL. We can leave this empty and update it later if you're not sure of the URL right now. And we also want to enable clustering because if you are going to use multiple instances, we want them to be clustered together. By default, Livebook is going to generate instructions to enable clustering on Fly and Kubernetes. So the automatic option is a good starting point. And we can also choose a zero trust authentication provider, okay? So if you're running inside Cloudflare, Google Cloud, Tailscale, you can ask your infrastructure to do the authentication and you're going to tell Livebook to validate that for you. Otherwise, if you're going to deploy to somewhere open, you can choose basic off and add a basic username and password to your whole Livebook deployment. Okay, but for this case, for demo purposes, let's choose none, it's going to be fine. So I'm going to uh, start with the deployment group and you can see here that after we choose the deployment group, it say, look, now you have to run an instance. And then we have options for Docker, Fly.io and Kubernetes. And for today, I'm going to use Fly.io. So it asks us to run a couple of steps. So the first step is to configure the instance. So I'm going to uh, copy those instructions, click here, and you can see, look, we are going to deploy this with this configuration and so on. Do we want you to tweak this? No, we don't want it to tweak, let's deploy. Okay, so it has configured, and now we are going to set the relevant secrets that is going to allow the app server to connect to Livebook Teams, okay? And so let's execute those new instructions. So it set the secrets, 
I'm going to deploy, and while it is deploying, uh, once the deploy is live, we are going to automatically detect that. So it's already detected, and we can deploy the, no the notebook to production. So we are going to click this, and this is has deployed the notebook already. So it's saying, look, your notebook has been deployed to the machine that you started running. And what is really cool about this is that what happens is that although the notebook passes for Livebook Teams, uh, we encrypt the notebook. So everything is encrypted and only your machine and your production machines actually knows the contents of the notebook, uh, the contents of the secrets and so on. So it has been deployed. Let's check that it works. So I'm going to copy and paste the URL here, okay? And you can see that the chat app is now running, right? This is running on fly. It could be running inside your infrastructure. So I can click here and we can say that it works. All right, that's all. And now, you know, if you want to do updates of the live to the notebook and deploy again, you just click deploy with Livebook Teams, you click deploy again, and you're going to have an updated version running in production. Let's give this a try. So I'm going to say, let's add some exclamation marks to show our excitement to the notebook. And let's say we want to deploy it again. And now if we come back here and uh, to the notebook, we can see that, yes, we have our exclamation marks. And that's how easy it was to update a notebook running production. So yeah, that's all I had to show for today. So Livebook Teams allows you to deploy your notebook to production with the click of a button. All you have to do is to set up your infrastructure. Once your infrastructure is up and running, deploy away. Thank you for watching.